Hello, my name is Anesha Tanehu and I'm a Band 6 Occupational Therapist. And my name is Karen Shah and I am a Band 3 Occupational Therapy Assistant. So we both work up at Furness General Hospital and we've been working in the discharge system for approximately two years now. So D2A is an OT-led alternative discharge pathway to help reduce inpatient stays. The aim is to facilitate timely and effective discharge. We cover a large geographical area, so a lot of travelling is involved. So when a patient is medically optimised for discharge, Karen and I will follow the ambulance out to the patient's home, where we complete full OT assessments in the patient's home environment. The patient's bed will be kept open for two hours, so that if our assessments show that the patient cannot manage at home, they are returned to the hospital. So the type of assessments we complete are physical, functional, cognitive, environmental and social. We often uh, meet with family members at the patient's property on the visit, which is very beneficial to get background information and to discuss, to discuss their concerns about the patient. So we provide compensatory equipment if needed, such as perching stools, commodes, dining trolleys, etc. We can also refer on for telecare um, to have key safes and lifespan pendants installed. We also check through the patient's medications to ensure that they are discharged home with the patient and that they all understand the dosage and frequency of the tablets. We set up care from hospital home care if needed. Um, to enable the patient to stay at home, to support them to stay at home. We can also refer on to reablement if there's a rehabilitation element and we can refer on for long-term care needs. The vast majority of D2A visits are successful but unfortunately a small majority of patients have to come back to hospital with goals to work on or with a plan in place for the next steps with their care. Thank you. Thank you.